Hi, this is Trey Chambers with Express Dental Laboratory. We have been asked by a number of lab owners what we're doing in the way of 3D printing and why we are aggressively moving down the path and how we are implementing the technology in our office. There's a lot of information on 3D printing in our industry and I just wanted to share a few ways that we're approaching it and kind of some of the experiences we've had. So I'm going to review with you um, why we're 3D printing, uh, our 3D printing workflow, and how we're implementing and using our EvoDent DLP 3D printing solution. At first, I didn't really realize that all 3D printers weren't alike. Um, I thought they all used resin and, and they were all pretty much the same. But when I saw the quality of the prints that uh, was generated from the EvoDent 3D printer, I could tell the difference instantly. Uh, certainly, I saw similar quality in the samples that we were looking at from the $35,000 to $45,000 printers, but um, I'm, I wasn't quite ready or I'm not quite ready to jump into that price point. So the uh, EvoDent printer was less than half the cost and we got a really, really good or even better quality and the accuracy and speed are phenomenal. Our 3D print workflow falls directly in line with our 3D CAD workflow in our lab business. Uh, regardless if we're doing a model, a surgical guide, or uh, printing a, a framework or some type of coping that will then invest and cast or, or burn out and press, it just all starts with the design. The cases we receive um, you know, through the Serona Connect portal or through other digital impression machines, it goes, goes through our CAD department. Here we inspect the digital file for accuracy. If, if it is simply an STL file, we send it directly to our 3D printing technician. If the file requires a design, then our CAD technician will appropriately alter the, the digital file and export it to an STL file. Everything which is printed in the 3D printer starts with an STL file, and the STL files are created digitally on our CAD workstation. So the 3D printing is a natural extension to our digital workflow. Once our 3D print technician receives a digital model in an STL format, the file gets virtually positioned on the build platform. We use Materialize's Magic Software. Materialize's Magic Software is a well-recognized name in the 3D printing industry. We use it to position the digital files and then it slices the files into hundreds of slices to prepare it for production using the DLP technology. Each slice represents one layer. Notice the software allows me to position the model on the platform however I desire. It is fairly intuitive and incorporates a standard 3D navigation, so you can move the model up or down, right or left, or even spin it. Pretty much using the same mouse or keyboard motions that you would use with any other 3D application. Once the object's been laid on the platform, I'm going to view here the model from different angles by selecting the various slides on the view box on the right hand of the screen. Then by slicing the z-axis and using the slide tool, I can view each slice of the model, each slice representing a layer. As I turn it around and turn on the transparency, I can see the blue lines outlining and representing each layer. When satisfied with my model's final position, I submit the model as a job to the preprint processing utility which takes the STL file and accurately slices the model into multiple layers. Each layer is only 50 microns, which is about half the size of a human hair. While the printer can print layers as thin as 10 microns, most models can be printed with excellent accuracy at 50 microns. The EvoDent DLP printer provides a high pixel resolution of 58 microns. This means that this particular model's final print quality and resolution will be incredibly high. The preprocessor takes only a few minutes to slice the model into hundreds of graphically formatted PNG files. 
which will be flashed by the DLP or digital light projector on the bottom of the resin take by ultraviolet light, one image at a time where the 50 micron resin layer will be accurately hardened to the previous layer. On the screen you will see a folder containing all the images. As I zoom in, you can see the slight variation from one image to the next. Again, each image is 50 microns thick. Once our job is sliced and ready to be printed, it is saved on a shared drive, which is physically located on the printer. So let's take a look at the printer. Before we continue with the workflow, let me take a moment to run through some of the physical components of the printer and workflow. The printer power button is conveniently located on the front right near the two USB ports, which can be used for connecting a mouse, a keyboard, a USB drive, or any other USB appliance or hardware. The top portion of the printer is where the models are printed. Here you will find the build platform, the resin tank, and below the resin tank, a glass with a direct line of sight to the digital light projector. Here on the bottom portion of the printer, you will find the Microsoft Windows 10 touchscreen. This is where you load and start each job. If you like using TeamViewer, you can actually install it and conveniently start the job from your desktop. Having a fully functional PC built into the printer provides a number of benefits, including remote, training, and support. Below the printer, you can see that we have two resin tanks. These tanks are solid with a thick protective glass which provides added strength. You also notice that they have metal lids and again these thick metal lids help keep light out from contaminating the resin. As part of our workflow we keep stage resin tanks in the cabinet below out of the light altogether. When outside of the cabinets we make sure that we place the glass bottom on a soft cloth to prevent scratching as well as reduce light exposure. The EvoDent 3D printer is an open source printer and this means that the manufacturer does not require you to purchase their resins. You are free to purchase anyone's resins. Of course, the resin needs to be tested and calibrated to ensure strength and accuracy. EvoDent has partnered with Nextint and support their full line of compatible resins and is working with other major resin manufacturers whereby giving us, the, the end user, a wide variety of choices when it comes to resin. We have been using the Nextint's resins and we've been very satisfied with them. We also have adopted Nextint's shaker, which actually rolls and stirs the resins prior to their use. And this is a step that's highly recommended by the manufacturer. With that said, Let's walk through inserting a resin tank and starting a job. The resin tank slides in and has convenient locks on each side. We can also inspect the build platform and make sure that it is ready to go and tightened. Once those two things are completed, it's on to the touch screen to start the job. The first thing we do is launch the DSCon software by lightly touching the icon twice as you would with the mouse. This displays a splash screen and we press open once which presents the main menu screen. On this screen we want to ensure we review the, and select the correct resin material from the drop down menu. Every material has a unique setting so it is important we select the correct material. In this example I am selecting the model material. Afterward, we will load the desired job by selecting it from a list using our finger to scroll and select through the list. Or if you prefer, you can also select from the folder icon or add your job by navigating through Explorer from a folder on the printer or from a folder that you have on a USB drive. Once a job is selected, we press the load button option. This uh, actually provides us with an estimated time of completion. If we're satisfied, we just simply press the red button on the screen, which will take us to the start job page. This allows us to once again double check the accuracy of our parameters. And when we're satisfied, we can press play um, and the job begins. 
The job starts as the build platform moves down until it is completely in the resin tank where it will just rest 50 microns away from the bottom glass. From this point the projector will flash each image onto the resin tank where it will harden on contact. Unlike our previous UV laser printer which slowly had to draw each layer with its small laser beam, the DLP printer hardens the entire layer immediately. As it hardens, the build platform will rise and then come back down just 50 microns from its previous position. In time, all the layers will have been presented and the job will be completed. The build platform slowly starts rising out of the tank until it has reached the top. Uh, when it reaches the top, we will let it rest a bit, allow the wet resin to drip down into the resin tank, and then uh, we'll remove it from the build platform. In this time-lapse video, we can see some surgical guides being printed. Um, the resin we're using in this application is clear, and you can actually see the UV light shining. Um, you'll also notice the guides are turned vertically, and we're using supports on this particular case. The process of removing the models uh, from the build platform is fairly straightforward. First, we remove the build platform from the printer. Uh, when we're careful to set the build platform down on a surface covered with paper towels or just a regular terry cloth or, or towel. Uh, the platform and the models are still wet with resin at this point. Also note that uh, items can be printed with breakaway supports and uh, when you print a model with a breakaway support, you can just simply remove it with a razor and cut those supports off away from the model and then you We'll just need to clean off the access support uh, from the build platform once you have the model safely removed. At this point, the model is a, in a solid form, and, but it will still need to be cured in a UV light chamber for about 10 to 20 minutes so that it gets to its uh, full strength and hardens completely through. So just when you're removing it from the build platform, just remember to be careful and uh, and be, be, be sensitive and aware that the model is still a little bit soft at this point. When the models are removed, they need to be washed first with a 96% solution of ethyl alcohol. Uh, we elected to use Evaclor. It's a, it's a grain alcohol that you can get at the local liquor store. Um, it's a, essentially a 95% uh, pure ethyl alcohol solution, um, and it's easily to get a hold of here in Oklahoma. Uh, I don't think all states allow um, liquor stores to sell a 95% proof alcohol, uh, but you know, for us it was the highest level or highest concentration that we could, we could find, and we find that it allows us to really get a good wash uh, of our models. We use an ultrasonic cleaner and we wash each model for 20 seconds, uh, twice, and we, we use two beakers to do this. Uh, one uh, beaker contains uh, not so clean alcohol in one beaker and then uh, the other one clean, clean, contains cleaner alcohol. The key is to get all the excess resin off the model. Uh, any leftover resin will cure to the model and can alter the accuracy. Um, once we are confident any excess resin is removed, we blow and dry off the model with compressed air. We inspect any uh, and all models for shiny spots as shiny spots often indicate uh, some type of a residue on the model. The final step is the curing tank. Uh, we place the model in a beaker of water and then set this beaker inside the curing tank. Again, depending on the material we're using, a model can sit in the curing tank for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. When the curing process is complete, the model is hardened and ready to move on to its next step. So this is where we have what we actually created with our 3D printer. It's the physical model or the temporary crown or the castable pattern. And here's just a few things that we've been able to do with our EVA printer. Uh, 
So here we have a partial frame that we did and we actually printed the pattern and we even casted it. Partial frames that we 3D print are much more accurately fitting frames and they allow us to manufacture the frames in an expedited manner, um, which then equates to better fitting frames, um, frames with you know, less remakes, less adjustments, and results in higher profit margins for our lab. Uh, also, we're printing resin crowns with really high strengths and incredibly high outputs. Also, uh, denture bases that fit uh, extremely well and have a very accurate fit. Here we have some dental models that we've made uh, from intraoral scans and they have removable dyes with them and that can be used by the technician to, to check the margins and, and inspect and review the emergence of the crown from the preparation. Also uh, we have done some models with uh, uh, DIM analogs or ELOS analogs and these models accurately um, represent or show the technician the implant placement and then also we have some indirect bonding trays uh, that we use in orthodontics and I'm really excited about all the different orthodontic solutions that this printer is giving our lab access to and we are very excited to, about the uh, new uh, solutions and revenue avenues that this will generate for Express Dental Lab. Uh, here we have a printed model with a 3D printed gingiva and that gingiva is very uh, pliable and soft and a lot more stronger than the gingiva material that we're using with our stone models. Another awesome and excellent feature uh, of this printer and the company software is the ability that we have to add support structures. Uh, there's various types of breakaway support structures that we can create and um, th that just allows us to really print just about anything they want with this printer with the proper support. Here we have some surgical guides which we see as a supplement to an ever increasingly growing source of revenue for our laboratory. Here is a full arch that we printed for a patient who had a po um, some poorly damaged teeth and needed an inexpensive uh, solution or, uh, or, or flipper uh, to get him through his treatment. Uh, here you can see the final results and that's what we're calling our, our 3D printed express smile. I'm confident that 3D printing will have a dramatic positive impact on dental labs and dental offices today and more so in the near future uh, as resins are now being offered in greater varieties and as their strengths continue to get stronger and as affordability, high accuracy 3D printers are available, the dental industry is embracing 3D print technology and will continue to do so in an escalated pace in the coming years. I hope you found this video to be beneficial to you and your team. My philosophy has always been that we're all in this together. So if I can help you and your team be successful by sharing some of my insights, then fantastic. Uh, also, I understand that I may be a little biased when it comes to the Elodent printer, but its quality and accuracy has demonstrated to me that 3D printing is definitely here to stay. I hope that you find a solution that works well for you and your team as you get positioned for the upcoming changes that 3D printing is going to be and is introducing into our industry.